What's good YouTube, JD here back with yet another review for you guys. And in this video, we're getting into the latest collab between Boston heavyweights, Bodega and New Balance. This time, once again, on the 997, we are gonna be reviewing the Bodega Better Days Ahead New Balance 997. What's good fam? So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the sneaker, giving you a little bit of a background between Bodega and New Balance. We're also gonna get into the inspiration behind this very nice colorway. I'll give you guys some sizing tips. For those of you interested, we will also get into resale. And as always, I will be giving you guys that on feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. So before we get started, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Bodega for sending me this pair. I thought it was really cool how a sneaker boutique based out of Boston sent these over to me. And you know, I live in Berlin, Germany. So much love to Bodega for sending me these. So this sneaker will be officially releasing worldwide on September the 25th for a retail price of $160. And this is actually the third installment of the 997S series between between Bodega and New Balance. We've seen the No Days Off pair, also the No Bad Days, and this Better Days Ahead finally completes the trilogy. Just looking at this sneaker, you can see there's a lot of different colors going on on the shoe, but I actually really like the storyline and inspiration behind this colorway. So this is directly from the Bodega website. So as you guys know, this sneaker is called the Better Days Ahead. And what exactly does Better Days Ahead mean? Now for some people, it could mean, you know, winning the lottery so that you can quit your job and go sit on the beach somewhere Whereas for some people, better days ahead means you need to put in that work so that you can actually get to that better future for yourself. And that, I guess, interpretation of better days ahead is actually visualized in this colorway. The front of the shoe is done in this dark gray color and it has some hits of brown as well. And that's supposed to represent, you know, putting in that work pounding the pavement, so to speak. And as you move towards the back of the shoe, you see this sunset color, which is supposed to represent basically riding off into the sunset. The mid panels of the shoe, so on the medial side, it's done in a hairy suede, and it's also done in this tan color. The N logo here is done in purple and black. I'm not exactly sure what that color is supposed to represent. But then on the lateral side, you see that same tan color. However, the leather is much smoother. And you have the N logo in gold, which I'm guessing represents probably the sun. And the smoothness, I guess, is supposed to represent, once again, the better days ahead. And even though these colors seem like they just wouldn't work together, it somehow really does on this shoe. The midsole is done in this, I guess, eggshell white color. Uh, it almost looks like the shoe has been aged and on the outsole we have these gum bottoms the 997s logo on the back stitched in with a green and purple stitching the insole of the sneaker as well features a picture of a guy who is i guess riding a horse into the sunset it also features that new balance and bodega logo and this is the same logo that you actually see on the top of the box the tongue of the sneaker is also done in that sunset orange and you can see the bodega logo run across the top of it. The sneakers come standard with these white laces, however, you do get two extra pairs of laces here. First is done in this olive color and it has lime green tips and it says Bodega on it. And the second one, the much louder one, this is a purple pair of laces with some speckled hits of lime green. The quality on the sneaker is super nice, especially these leather tan panels on the midfoot. This is my first time trying on a pair of New Balance 997s and I gotta say it's a very, very uh, comfortable sneaker. And it's a type of comfort that you know you can wear it all day and it won't hurt. As far as sizing goes, I got these shoes in my true size. However, I do say they definitely fit a bit big, but that's pretty much the case for me in most New Balances. I go a half size down than I would, for example, a Nike pair of sneakers. So I would suggest just going with your true New Balance size and a half size down, I guess, than your Nike or Adidas shoes. Very quickly, if you haven't already done so, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. I'm very close to hitting that 30K and that's gonna be a big milestone. So help your boy out, hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you found this content useful, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. I'll also quickly talk about resale. I expect these to perform pretty much the same as the other two pairs in the series have performed. Initially, I think the sneaker will sell for around $300 to $400. Over time, these could definitely skyrocket. You can see the original colorway of this series 
those prices on those right now are very, very high. That may or may not happen with these. However, it's safe to assume that you will see at least $300 resale on these. So what do I personally think of this sneaker? Is it a cop or a drop? I haven't even talked about something I really like about the shoe and that is the name. Better days ahead. I mean, is there a more fitting name for a sneaker in 2020? This has been the weirdest year in probably most of our lives. So it's good to have a sneaker like this remind us that this is just temporary and definitely better days are coming. And I actually think this is a really nice colorway heading into the fall time. So for me, these are a cop. If you haven't already done so, make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. The handle is right here. It is at jdkick6. Definitely the easiest place to contact me in case some of you guys were confused by the name of the channel. Yes, that is my full name. I recently changed the channel name from JD Kicks to Josh Dominic. You guys, you won't notice much of a difference. It's going to be that same good sneaker content that you're used to seeing on this channel. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and for watching this video, the on feed portion of the video coming up right now. Until next time, guys. Peace.